Hey guys, it's Way here, and welcome back to another FIFA 17 Ultimate Team video. And today, I'm going to bring you guys another sniping method. And this one right here is so, so effective. I've got five different sniping filters that you guys can use right now. And you can make so many coins from these filters. There are cards that go for about 7k that you can get for 200 coins or so. And they come up all the time using some of the filters I'll show you right here. So you can make a really, really good amount of coins. You can potentially make five, six, even 7,000 coins on some of the cards that you are picking up. So it's a very, very effective method that I will be showing you. Five different filters and they all work very, very well. So if you guys could leave a like on the video, that would be awesome. 250 likes would be very much appreciated. Subscribe if you are new around here. And also, before we do get on into the video, sorry about my mic quality recently. It's got a really weird kind of crackling background noise in. I really have no idea why, but I am going to be upgrading my microphone to a Rode podcast, which is the same mic that KSI and a lot of big YouTubers use. I will be getting that in the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned for that, and my audio quality will go up a lot more after I do get that microphone. So sorry about that. Hope you guys can understand. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's go on into the method. The first filter is going to be gold CDMs from Spurs. Now, right now, because of the player of the month, Harry Kane SBC, which is going to be out for the next two weeks, so this filter will work for the next two weeks. These cards go for a lot because you only have have Wanyama, Dyer, and Ali as your different options. Now, the main ones are Wanyama and also Dyer. Uh, people do convert Ali back to a CDM, but the main ones you are going to be getting are Wanyama and uh, also Eric Dyer. Now, currently they go for around 5,000 coins. As you can see right here, there's uh, an Ali here, and then there is a Dyer right here. So what you're going to be trying to do is snipe the cards for about 1,000 coins less. Now, they may not be going for 5,000 coins when you're watching this video, or maybe on your console on PS4, for example. They may go for a little bit more or a little bit less, but I'd recommend just trying to snipe the cards for about 700 to 1,000 coins cheaper than what they're selling for. So if I get any of these cards for 4K, then I'm going to be making 1,000 coins profit, and very often you're going to be getting deals listed up very, very cheaply. And in the past, I've managed to get players like Dyer for around 1,000 coins, and that's an easy 4K profit you're making. So all you need to do is just try and snipe the cards like this. I'm going to be trying to snipe one player from each of the different filters I show you, just to show how effectively they work. So here we go. All you need to do is just try and snipe a card. It's as simple as that, and I'll be back when I get a deal. Just missed out on a Wanyama right there for 4,000 coins, and I think he's more expensive than both Ali and uh, also Dyer. He goes for around five or 6,000 coins. I think he's like 5.5k, whereas the other two go for around 5,000 coins. So that is the first player I've missed out on, and that's literally taken me like... I don't know, maybe 30 seconds for that card to come up. And uh, yeah, already we have managed to almost get a deal, which would have made me at like 1.5k or so. So looking good so far, we've had one player come up and hopefully we're going to be able to get one deal to show you guys how effectively this method can work. 700 coins for a Wanyama. Wow. That is just a couple of searches after that last card. And he goes, as you saw, for like 5.5k. That would have been nearly 5,000 coins for off on one card. That is seriously unlucky. I missed out on that one Yama there for 700 coins, but that goes to show how cheaply these cards get listed out, guys. It really does. I mean, you can make some huge profits. If, you, if you're good at sniping, if you have fast internet, it's only going to make it easier, and you can just get so many deals really easily. So I definitely recommend trying this one out. You can get some great deals. I just want to get one deal, and then I'll move on to the next filter. 2.1k there for Deli Alley. This, this method is pretty hard because so many people are doing it right now, but... If you can get a deal, you can make so many coins on them. So I may actually bring the price up to about 4.5k just so I can uh, hopefully get some cards maybe a little bit cheaper. 4k there for an alley. We've picked up an alley there for 4k. And there's a die there for 700 coins. Just missed out on that. But 4,000 coins for a Deli Alley. That is the first deal I've picked up. And there we go. I mean, that's another card for 700 coins. That's two players that have come up. If I had sniped all the cards that come up, I'd have made like nearly 20,000 coins in about two or three minutes, but we got Deli Ali for 4,000 coins, I'm going to list him up for 5k, and that's going to make me 1,000 coins profit, so that's pretty easy, I've not spent too much time doing this at all, and uh, that is the first player I've been able to pick up, I've missed out on a few of them, and if I'd picked them up, I'd have made a really good amount of coins, but nevertheless, I can make 1,000 coins on him, that's not bad, I'll list him up right there, and let's move on to the second method. This second sniping filter is only really going to work over the next couple of days because you are going to be sniping players that are needed in the current marquee matchups for the Rangers versus Celtic game. And more specifically, you are going to be sniping Rangers players because right now on the market, they go for about 6.5k. So you can get some really, really good deals. But if you are watching this in a couple of days after I've recorded this video and the marquee matchups are no longer available, then just skip forwards a few minutes and you'll be able to get onto the third sniping filter. But right now, if you look on the market, you'll see that the lowest by now is actually around about 65 to 7,000 coins. This is on Xbox One. They may be a little bit different on PlayStation or maybe on Xbox 360. But right now, it's around about 65 to 7,000 coins. So you can actually snipe these cards for about 6k 
and make some really, really good profit. And I've seen people get cards for about 200 coins and sell them and make 6,000 coins or more profit on these. And you can get some amazing deals. And the reason this works so effectively, not only are these cards very expensive, but there are over 25 different cards you can snipe. There are silvers, bronzes, and also gold cards that can all come up. So in comparison to the last method, where I showed you where there are only three players that come up, Deli Alley, and also you have Dyer and Wanyama. This one here, you have about 25 different cards coming up. So you can make so many coins because there's so many different players coming up. So it's very, very easy. I'm going to go and get a deal, and I'll be back when I get one. 5,000 coins there for an Alnwick. And to add to all the background noise, suddenly there's an ice cream van that's just come outside my house. So, as, as well as my mic not being very good and my neighbour mowing grass, now there's, there's an ice cream van. But anyway, this guy goes for like 7k, going for 5k, and I can list him up. And that's going to be like, uh, I'll list him for 6.9, 6 6.8, there we go, 6.8. And that's going to be like 1.5k profit on him, not too bad at all. I'll list that up, and let's go on to the third sniping filter. So for the third sniping filter, you're going to be sniping players, again, needed for the player of the month, SBC for Harry Kane. Like with the first method, you're going to be sniping Spurs players, but this time here, it's actually going to be sniping right mids. Now, there are two different players, Lamella and Sissoko, and if you look on the market, the lowest by now is around about 9.5k, so they're really expensive. These cards would normally be about 1,000 coins, but now they actually go for pretty much 10,000 coins. So what you want to do is try and sign them for about 1,000 coins less than they're selling for. So right now for me, that's going to be 8.5k. If they're going for about 9k for you, try and sign them for 8k. Maybe they're going to be going for 7k in a couple of days, try and sign them for under 6k. It's as simple as that. So all you need to do is then just try and sign the cards. So as always, I'll be back when I get a deal. And already, Sissoko there, wow. Sissoko 5.5k listed up. Um, within that was like five seconds and he goes for uh, about 9.5k So I could have sold that card on for about 4k profit That would have been a really good snipe and that was really really early on in the shadow chem style as well So it shouldn't take long at all. That was four searches to get a deal So I'm just gonna keep doing this and I'll be back when I manage to pick up a player 2.1k right here for a Sissoko and this is about 10 seconds after I just finished speaking already two Sissokos have come up within like the first 10 searches and this one here I could have sold on for about 7k profit that I picked him up because he goes for about 9.5k so that would have been an amazing deal right there um, but wow so many players are coming up to Sissoko so far within the first like 15 searches or so which is crazy I mean I could have made so much profit if I'd have got them but it's looking good so far I mean if I can get one of these deals I should be making a really good amount of coins so hopefully it won't take too long. 8.1k right there for a Sissoko. I just changed to doing the Y and B or the transfer target sniping method, which I have talked about earlier on in this video, which, as I said, is just my favourite way of sniping. So that was about two minutes or so after those last few players that I missed out on. And yeah, we got Sissoko for 8.1k. So I can list him up for 9.5, and that's going to be around about 1,000 coins profit there, which is not too bad at all. Now, that's not, not taken at all long either. And as you can see here, I'm just doing the Y and B method, and that Soko there is not a deal. But uh, I just find this one a bit easier, and especially if you're going to be doing it for a longer period of time, it's a lot simpler because you're just pressing Y and B. So you can do it for longer and kind of concentrate on it uh, easier than using the other one, which uh, if you do it for a really long period of time, it's going to really hurt your fingers and your, your hand in general. 8.3 actually for Soko there. Just missed out on that one. But I find this one easier to do for longer, so this is definitely the way of sniping I prefer. And yeah, we managed to get one and made about a thousand coins profit on him. But I missed out on two earlier on that were really, really cheap. So I'm just going to keep doing this, get one more deal, and then we can move on to the next filter. 8.4k there for a Lamella. Just pick that one there up, and I can make about 500 coins profit on him. Because I got him for 8.4k. I'll list him up for 9.5. So that's going to be a bit of profit on him. Not too bad there. Um, and although that's not the best of deals. It's still some decent profit, but since it isn't an amazing one, I'm going to try and get one final deal because that only took like a minute more to, uh, to get that on there since I got that last Sissoko. So loads of players are coming up right now, and it's only a matter of time really until I get a really good deal that I can make a good amount of coins on. So far, uh, two really cheap ones have come up, so if I can get anyone else like that, um, that would be great. I've just got a Lamella for 8.9k. I can sell him for 9.5. After the attacks, that's only like... 200 coins profit or so because out of 10k if you sell a card for 10k you'll lose 500 coins because the attack is 5% so just bear that in mind but I can still list this one for 9.5 it's going to be a small amount of profit but as I said earlier I do want to get one good deal so I'm just going to gonna wait a bit and to just keep sniping until I get one of those really kind of cheap players that's listed up for like 5k or so 
anything like that would be great if I could get one. So shouldn't take long. And these cards are also selling on really fast, so you're making easy profit because lots of people are going out and completing the SBCs. That's why all these sniping forces work really well. It's because all of them are linked with SBCs. So people are always going and buying the cards, so they sell really quickly and lots are being listed up on the market. So you can make really, really quick profit with all of the different fills I've shown you in this video. 2.5k there for a Lamella. I just missed out on a really, really cheap deal there. That would have been like 7k profit. That's the cheapest one I've seen listed up when I, whenever I've used this filter. Not just like right now, but whenever I've used this in the past. That's by far the cheapest. That would have been like 7k profit if I'd have picked that card up. I just want to get one, one more deal. And then uh, I'll take that. Even if it's like 500 coins profit, I'll take it. Uh, just so I can move on to the next one. Because I've shown you guys now this works really, really well. Like I've, I've got a good amount of deals. I've shown a load of cheap ones that have come up. So I'll just get one more deal and then I'll move on to the next filter. 3.2k there for a Lamella. I've just managed to pick that one there up and he's going for 9.4k. That is by far the, the best deal I've got so far in this video and I know it's taken a while to get but that is a really really cheap deal because the other ones I was getting they were like 8k or so. That's good because that's that's like a thousand coins probably but this one here 3.2k and I can now list them up for I'll go with 9.5 because he was actually going for about 9.9k a minute ago. Uh, I was trying to snipe him and his price did go up but right now he goes for about 9.5 I'll list them up there. And that is going to be a good 6,000 coins profit or so there after the attacks, which is actually really, really good. For an easy sniping filter like this, I've made some great coins from it pretty quickly. I mean, probably spent about 5-10 minutes on this, uh, 10 minutes maximum, and I've managed to get about 5 deals and make myself around 10,000 coins pretty easily. So I'll list that one there up, and let's move on to the fourth sniping filter. It's the lowest budget sniping filter in this video and if you guys don't have too many coins, it should be a good one for you. This next sniping filter is very similar to two of the other ones I've already shown you because you're gonna be sniping players that are needed for the player of the month, Harry Kane SBC. However, this time it's not gonna be Spurs players, you're actually gonna be sniping Leighton Orient players. So it's quite similar to the Rangers filter because you're actually gonna be sniping players from a whole team, not just a narrowed down filter with a certain position. You're gonna be sniping English players from Leighton Orient and around 90% of their players are from England so you've got a lot of different players you can potentially snipe that are between about 10 and 20 different cards available on the market and you need these for the Harry Kane SBC which is why their prices are quite high and uh, their prices will be high for the next two weeks or so so you've got plenty of time to use this all you need to do is go to Leighton Orient England they are in League 2 and then you want to find the maximum by now so right now it is around about 2.3k actually you want to just list up for 200 coins there we go that is the first snipe and that is first search and you guys will see in a minute these cards go for, well, this guy actually goes for 5.6k, but the lowest by now for these cards is, as I'll show you guys in just a second, I'll list this card up, it's around 2.5k, so I'll list that one there up, and that just goes to show how cheap you can get these cards, so I've got that for 200 coins, I can sell them 2.5k, and that was first search, that shows how effective this sniping filter is, I mean, I don't even need to show you guys, because that's just first search, I've already got a deal, as you can see here, the lowest by now is around 2.5k, so all you need to do is try and sign them about 500 coins cheaper. So if they're going for about 2.5, try and get them for around 2,000 coins. If they're going for 2,000, try and get them for about 1.5. And it's as simple as that. All you need to do is just try and sign the cards that come up on the market. And very few people seem to be using this filter here. So you can get some very, very cheap cards. And since they're bronze cards, a lot of people are just going to list cards up for like 200 coins or so. Uh, let's say someone goes out and buys a few cards to complete the SBC. They go and get like two cards from Leighton Orient, then realize they only need one. A lot of people just list up that card for 200 coins on the market without checking their price. And you can end up getting cards as you just saw for like 200 coins. You can get some really, really good deals and you just sell them off 2.5k as, as easy as that. So you guys have already seen first search I got a deal. But uh, I will try and get one more and then I'll move on to the final filter. I just managed to pick up a Pollock again. This is the guy that I got earlier for 200 coins. This time for 2,000. So I can list him for 25 and that's going to be around about 400 coins for off on him. That is not too bad there. Uh, I have actually swapped to the Y and B, the transfer target sniping filter that I showed you guys earlier. Or the sniping method rather. Where for those of you who don't know how to do it, it's slightly different controls on PlayStation. But all you need to do is go over to your transfer targets by pressing Y. And then press B right there. And that's going to go back. And you can just keep doing that. And as you see, we actually got a card for 1.8k. And this method is so, so easy, and so few people do it. You just have no competition at all, really. So that one I got for 1.8. I'll list up for 2.4, and that's going to be around about 500 coins profit there. So I've made some good profit so far on this. You just have loads of cards being listed up on the market, 
and you just list them up, sell them on, and you can make some really, really easy coins. And so many times you will see cards coming up for like 200 coins or so. It's a very, very easy filter. And for those of you who don't have too many coins, this is definitely the one I'd recommend you using. Um, and also for those of you who don't, maybe don't have too much time or are the best at sniping and you just want to get some easy snipes, this one's a really good one to use because so few people use it and uh, you can get some good coins. Normally you're going to be making about 500 coins to 1,000 coins on each player, but sometimes you can get lucky and you can make like 2k by getting a, a card for, for maybe 200 coins, 250. A really, really cheap deal, like you saw that first one I get, but uh, yeah, very, very simple. All you need to do, just keep sniping and you'll get some really good deals. The final sniping filter technically isn't really a sniping filter because you're not actually sniping like a, a variety of different players that can come up with one filter. It's one player and that is Tyson, but I've had so much success over the past couple of days sniping him that I thought I'd show you guys him at the end of the video because it's, he's such a good player to trade with right now because of a brand new SBC available. Uh, it's an advanced SBC and one of the specific teams you need to build is a Brazil team with 10 different leagues in the starting 11. And you also need an 82 rating. So having Tyson, who is an 82 rated card with his upgraded card, his 81 rated one is obviously his non-upgraded card. Uh, having a high rated Brazilian card like this, who's a midfielder as well, people normally convert him down to a centre mid or CDM to use him in the team. That's what I did when I completed the SBC. And it's, it's made his price go up a lot. He currently goes for 4.5k as a lowest by now. And he's a really expensive player. And with him having both an upgraded and downgraded card available, a lot of people will list up, for example, his downgraded card here, not his downgraded card, just his default 81 card that's not been upgraded. A lot of the time you'll see that card being listed for like 7 or 800 coins. And the same with his upgraded card, people just list it really cheaply because he's a Brazilian player playing in the Ukrainian league. No one really uses Ukrainian league players, so you can very, very often snipe him extremely cheaply. And you can either use the Y and B sniping method, which is the one I normally use, or you can just try and snipe the cards normally. But you can try and get him for under about 4k or so, and he's just a really good player to trade with right now. And I've seen him being listed for under a thousand coins so often, he really is a great player to trade with. So I'm going to try and get one of him, and uh, then that'll be the end of the video. It's taken me about two minutes or so, but here we go. I've managed to get a deal 3,000 coins for a Titan, and as you see, he's going for 4.5. So I'm going to sell him on at 4.4. That's going to be 1.2k profit, I believe, after the year tax. Uh, pretty much that, which is not too bad at all. I'll send that over to the transfer list. And, uh, yeah, he's just a really good player to trade with Tyson. I know it's not a specific filter where you have a lot of different players coming up. But if you are looking for a good player to trade with, he's a good one to get on bid, a good one to get on buy now. Just a really good player to trade with. And normally with these sniping videos, which I bring out each week, I cover a, a variety of different sniping filters. And then at the end, I show you a bit of a different one. So last week, I showed you a really good inform filter that you can use when there are a lot of informs in the team of the week that are kind of lower rated or when, when there are some bronze ones. And we actually get one uh, in striker there for 4.1. That's not bad. I'll list that one up for 4.5 as well. Since he is a striker, he may sell for a bit more. So I'll list him up for 4.5. It's not a huge amount of profit, but still like two or 300 coins. Not too bad. I'll list him up. And yeah, he's just a good player to trade with. And as I said, normally I do throw in kind of a, an extra filter at the end. Uh, that's just a bit of a different one for those you want to try that out. But if you do want to see this more, often if you do want to see more of these sniping videos in the future, maybe one every single week, then leave a like on the video. Let me know in the comments down below. I'll be sure to do that. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go and list up the cards and I'll be back and show you guys how many I've managed to sell on, what profit I've made and how long I've spent doing this. So you guys can really get an idea of which filters work best and which ones you should be using to make coins on Ultimate Team right now. So it's actually only taken about 10 minutes or so to sell on the two Tysons and one of the Lamellas that I hadn't already sold on. And other than that, I'd actually managed to sell on everyone else before that because these cards sell on so, so quickly. And that's what I was talking about earlier on in the video. These cards sell on very, very fast because they're in high demand because you're trading with cards needed for SBCs. And that's why I think this trading method is probably the best way of making coins right now on Ultimate Team because not only are you using a couple of sniping filters where you can get cards very, very quickly, but couple that with the fact that these cards are in high demand due to SBCs, they sell on very, very fast, so you can make coins very, very quickly. So as you can see here, I managed to get two Tysons, and I made around 1,500 coins profit in total on those two. Lamella, I picked up around five or six of them. The most profit I made on one was around 6,000 coins. The least was about four or 500, and on average, I was making around one or 2,000 coins on each. So I made some really good coins on Lamella. Uh, also, these guys here from Leighton Orient, I made around about 2.2k on one of them that I got for 200 coins. One I got for 2k and made around 400 coins on. 
and then this one here I think I made around 500 coins on there uh, obviously I already went over the little mellows and one of them I did get some really really good profit on which uh, I think was around 6,000 coins. So Soko right here, I made around 1.5k on him. Uh, Alan Wick, I managed to make about 1,500 coins on him. This Torel, you haven't actually seen in the footage because I've gone back and checked through the footage. And my footage actually corrupted for the part where I was sniping Rangers players, which is really annoying. Uh, but I did actually use the Xbox record feature to manage to, to go back and actually get me sniping Alan Wick. But it didn't actually get Torel, so I ended up making a similar amount of profit to Alan Wick. I made like 1.5k, I think I got him for around 5,000 coins. And then Deli Ali, the first deal I picked up, I made 1,000 coins on him. So overall, I made around 20,000 coins from half an hour of trading. But bearing in mind that I was obviously showing you guys the sniping filters and explaining them, that's more like 20 minutes of actual time spent sniping. So 20,000 coins in 20 minutes is not bad at all. And also, bear in mind that I did miss out on a lot of players, especially when I was sniping Lamella. I missed out on some cards that were about 2,000 coins or so, which I could have made some really good coins on when I was sniping um, the Deli Alley cards as well, the Deli Alley, Dai and Wanyama cards with the Tottenham CDM filter. I ended up missing out on a couple for like 700 coins. I missed out on some really cheap cards when I was trying to snipe the Rangers players too, so I could have potentially made anywhere between around about 30 and 50,000 coins if I'd have picked up more players. And if you've got really fast internet, if you're really good at sniping, you're going to be picking up more players. But that's very, very good, being able to make around 20,000 coins in 20 minutes. I mean, that's that's over 50,000 coins in an hour, and you guys can make some really, really good coins using this method. It really is that simple. Try the different sniping fields out. The cards sell on very, very quickly, and you can make some great coins. And you guys can see here, it took me hardly any time at all to sell on these cards, and I've got some really, really good profit from it. So, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, definitely do leave a like on it. 250 likes, as said in the intro, would be very, very much appreciated. And over the past week or so, my videos seem to be getting less views and less likes. I'm not really too sure why that is. I think it's because my videos aren't really getting in the YouTube algorithm anymore, which is a bit weird. I'm not too sure why. So if you guys could leave a like on the video, it really does help out my channel. Not only does it show that you guys have liked the video and uh, it's quite supportive like that, but also it really does actually help out my channel as it does mean the videos get promoted more through YouTube. So if you could do that, I'd always appreciate that. But so yeah, also subscribe if you're on your own air. Hopefully this does help you out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.